The Knox County Sheriff's Office says it spends almost $1 million a year on medications for inmates. It's trying to find ways to save money, but a new court ruling could add thousands of dollars in expenses. That office says it has to provide that medical care at the expense of taxpayers. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan went to the jail where some inmates make up the lion's share of that cost. Cole? Robin and John, 15 inmates with HIV made up 42% of that medication costs. That means those 15 cost the county more than $378,000 last year. Take a look inside one of the busiest public pharmacy operations in the state. Almost like an ER. The Knox County Detention Facility passes out hundreds of pills every day. Last year we passed out uh, roughly 1.3 million. Aspirin to sock meds. The pharmacy is just one medical service the sheriff's office is required by law to provide. If somebody comes in and they're stabilized on medications, it's the right thing to do to continue on those medications. But it's a growing cost to provide meds to a high need group of patients. The average age uh, for our inmates here is 36. Uh, a lot of them had substance abuse issues since high school. Uh, 20 years of abuse on their body creates a lot of medical issues. The jail has about 1,100 inmates, but 15 of those who are HIV positive make up 42% of the cost. Costs for the medications range from $3,000 to $7,000 a month. A new contract for daily pill deliveries has made a difference. Cut down a lot of waste which has drastically reduced our cost. The facility is coming in under the $900,000 it spent last year, but a federal court ruling could set the budget back, requiring jails to test for and treat hepatitis C. It's up to anywhere from $13,000 to $30,000 per person. An increase in cost as the jail holds more and more inmates over its capacity. It creates a tremendous burden on the corrections staff, the medical staff, the mental health staff. Behind HIV medications, psychiatric pills account for 13% of the budget. KCSO also provides care for nine pregnant inmates and several who are on dialysis. Robin and John. Cole Sullivan with a re revealing look tonight. Thank you, Cole.